Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do another shipping tutorial because you guys seem to really love the shipping tutorials and seeing just like the process of how I do it. However, with this video, I'm heading into my screen to show you the behind the scenes of how to use Shopify with your shipping. I've shown you how I use Royal Mail platforms to actually pay for my shipping labels and print them off, but I haven't really shown you guys how it works on the Shopify side of things. I'm gonna look into my Shopify and I'm gonna show you how exactly you get an order, you process the order, you send the tracking code to the customer. So if you're interested in learning more about how to use Shopify for shipping your orders, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's just get straight into it. So we're inside a order within Shopify. This is what it will look like when someone orders from your store. You will have a list of all your orders here. Obviously I can't show you guys that, but whatever is in yellow is what needs to be fulfilled. So as you can see, we have a yellow tab here which says unfulfilled and that's just really handy for when you have like a bunch of orders and you're just you know you can see straight away all of the yellow and it's like okay i've got to get through all of these yellow orders and make sure that i send them all out you'll also get the order number at the top left corner alongside the date and the time that the order came through and then you'll have what was in the order so of course you'll have like your product picture here it will show you the SKU and the color of what the item is, along with the price that they bought it for. Then on the right hand side, you will have a section for notes. So here is where you would typically add a note, maybe saying that this customer will get a free gift with their order. So this will notify everyone who is on the back end of your Shopify. So if you actually outsource shipping to someone, they'll be able to see this note and they can add in anything that they need to. Here you have details about your customer. So as you can see, I can see that this customer, who is me, has ordered twice. So they've had two orders. You can get their contact information, which is easy to copy. You just click this here and it will copy their email or their shipping address. And then you have conversion summary. Now, unfortunately, it's not gonna show you here, but typically it will say exactly where the customer came from, how many times they were on the site until it took them to buy. So usually it will say this customer came from Instagram, they attended the site 10 times and converted after the 11th time, which is really handy because you can see where your customers are coming from and how long it takes them to actually make the sale. Here you also have fraud analysis. That is usually very low for me because my items are quite on the cheap side. But if you sell higher priced items, you may get a lot of like fraud, especially the more orders you get in. So if you get like loads of orders every single month, you'll probably have have a lot of high risk orders and that is just where someone will charge you back so they'll say that they haven't received the item which actually costs you so I know for a lot of businesses especially those with higher price items they get a lot of chargebacks and fraud so just be aware of that here is also like a timeline which is really good for if you have different staff members or if you have a customer complaint and you have so many orders you're just confused as to what actually happened here it records everything that happened so i can look here and i can see that the customer made the order 12 minutes ago they then got the confirmation email. We added a note to the order five minutes ago. And then you can actually go in and add notes. You can add in attachments like images and stuff. So that's really handy for you to like look back at what's happened and also to communicate with staff. So now the most important thing is how we actually fulfill the order. Now this can actually be done automatically via the Royal Mail click and drop application, which is actually an online thing that you sign up for the click and drop account. I'm gonna show you the way where you don't have a click and drop actual account. This is just the send an item with click and drop via the website. So anyone can do this, you don't need an account. When you do it with the account, you can actually connect Shopify to Royal Mail and it should fulfill the items automatically once you've done it within Royal Mail. Whereas the, the, the way that I'm going to show you guys today is we're going to do it manually. So if it didn't work automatically, this is how you would do it manually. Fulfill item here usually will pop up and it will ask for the tracking number, the carrier, which would be Royal Mail, 
and to notify the customer. So when you tick this, this will send them an email just to let them know that their order is on the way. So once we have our order details, we wanna go into Royal Mail Click and Drop and we're gonna follow these steps and we're gonna actually order the shipping label. So I'm just gonna choose anything, but obviously you wanna make sure you weigh your product so you know how much you're gonna actually spend. We usually do our second class signed for which is 3.95. So now we're gonna put where our package is going. So this is when I go back to the shipping address. I'm gonna copy the postcode and know it's sweet 119. So then you're gonna add it to your basket. I have it done collect, but you can actually get it collected from you for 60p, but we're just gonna drop it off to the post office. So I'm gonna to add to basket. And here is our shipping label, it's not completely generated yet because obviously we would have to then go down and pay for it so here's where you pay for the amount for shipping and now I'm going to show you an example of what is generated so once you've actually paid for your label it will actually generate a pdf which will come up on your internet provider and it will be a pdf like this and this is your label that you wanna print with your label printer or with your normal printer. Once you have it up, here is your tracking code. So this is your barcode tracking number. And when you get your real actual label, you can just select it and it will go like this and you can copy and paste that code. So here's all their details, that's what gets printed off. So you wanna go ahead and copy the tracking code back into Shopify. So we're gonna fulfill item we're gonna copy and paste the tracking code, pretend that that's a code, and then it will automatically allocate it to Royal Mail, but because it's not an actual code that I'm typing in right now, I'm just gonna select Royal Mail from the list. And then we're gonna do send shipment details to your customer now. And then you wanna click the green button, fulfill item. So we're gonna fulfill the item. And now this is changed to gray, which means when you go into your orders, it will no longer have a yellow color on it. And you know that this is all ready to go. You just need to actually go to the post office and send the item. So that is typically how you would fulfill and ship items within Shopify. Now, I know there are a ton of other apps you can use to actually bulk ship your orders, but I just wanted to show you guys the real basic way for new beginners. You can check out my other shipping tutorials, which do also cover other methods of using Shopify and Royal Mail, but this is just a really basic level of how it's done. I hope you found that video really helpful and valuable. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel as always, guys. Wishing you good luck on your businesses and I'll catch you in the next one.